Hello everyone and welcome to our presentation. Our presentation is on the topic that affects our everyday life, noise pollution, and more specifically, the traffic noise pollution. Have you ever had a rough night due to traffic noise? Well, you're not alone. To take an example, in Europe, over 6.5 million people have reported experiencing sleep disturbances directly linked to noise. So the problem that we choose is that the traffic noise increases the stress of people. Noise pollution has many consequences. We will focus on those related to health, and we will see that there is many consequences on our body. The most affected organ is the brain. Noise pollution can exacerbate various health conditions such as anxiety, hypertension, and mood swings. The heart is also significantly affected, with an increase in heart rate, elevated blood pressure, and an increased risk of myocardial infarction. With this chart, we can observe a direct link between the level of noise pollution and diseases like depression and anxiety. So how does traffic noise pollution affect us? It increases stress, anxiety, and the risk of depression. It disturbs sleep, communication, and concentration. And it can affect the entire body, causing many disruptions and problems. So our idea against noise traffic was to try to reduce it by asking some people to don't use scooters during some days. So first, we did a survey to ask people if they use a scooter or not. And around 60 people answer at this survey. After, we did a second survey and sent it to people who answer that they use a scooter in the first one. And we asked them if they can don't use it on the 30 or 31 of December to see if there is a difference or not. And by the results, most of the people could do it on the 30. So the area is around the dorm Shingya Shui. After, we sent them another survey to ask if they felt a difference, and apparently they did. As we can see, with the orange bars, which represent how they perceive the noise on a classic day, it's way more higher than the 30 December when people didn't use scooters. So this section was useful. And so now we will see some interviews from people who saw the difference. I'm Simon, and uh, last Saturday I needed to study for an exam, and uh, it was very nice that the uh, noise was reduced at the dorm, so I was much more productive than usual. I appreciate the effort. Hello, I'm Aoi. Today, Saturday, it was less noisy, and I studied really well. Thank you. Hi, I'm Antoine, and uh, the, it was less noisy last Saturday. Uh, I could have uh, worked better, so it was nice. These were only a few of the many feedbacks that we received. Below are the names of all the people who thanked us. We would like to thank them to participate at our survey and helped us for this project.